Second Trace is the next phase of the European tobacco legislation that first came into effect in May 2016. It will require tobacco manufacturers to place a unique code on all tobacco products, including individual packs, outers, cases and pallets, to ensure they can be tracked throughout the supply chain. JTI will be on hand throughout the whole transition to help retailers and wholesalers take all necessary steps ahead of the deadline. The legislation is being introduced to help tackle the illicit trade. The track and trace system includes a series of security features to help detect counterfeit products. Some of the features will be visible to the human eye, whilst others will be harder to spot. Tracking tobacco will allow the authorities to follow the route and source of a genuine product and provide better tools to enable them to tackle the illicit trade and support law-abiding retailers and wholesalers. Track and Trace comes into force on the 20th of May 2019. All cigarettes and roll-your-own tobacco that are manufactured or imported into the UK from the 20th of May 2019 must use the Track and Trace system and will require a unique identifier code. Wholesalers and retailers will be able to continue to sell cigarettes and roll-your-own tobacco manufactured before the 20th of May 2019 up until the 20th of May 2020 without using the Track and Trace system. After the 20th of May 2024, Track and Trace will extend to include all other tobacco products, such as pipe tobacco, cigars and heated tobacco products. The Track and Trace legislation will have implications throughout the supply chain to varying degrees. Before the 20th of May 2019, retailers will need to apply for two codes, an Economic Operator ID code for their business and a separate facility ID code for each of their premises where they sell or store tobacco products. From the 20th of May 2019, they will need to provide both codes when purchasing Track and Trace compliant stock. Wholesalers will also be required to apply for EOID and FID codes. They will also need to ensure they are ready with all necessary equipment to be able to scan tobacco products and transmit the data to the repository system. Off-the-shelf solutions are available to purchase or alternatively wholesalers are free to create their own solutions or update their existing systems to become EUTPD2 enabled. Whichever system they opt for should be tested for compliance ahead of the legislation coming into effect. From the 20th of May 2019, wholesalers must scan in any new EUTPD2 compliant stock on receipt and then scan out any UI marked stock on dispatch to retailers. The codes will be located in the black box on the base of the pack for RMC and in the black box on the closing side of the RYO pouches. Security features will be added to the cigarette packs and the RYO packs. Whilst there will be changes to the packaging, JTI's products will remain the same. Vaping products that do not contain tobacco will not be affected by the Track and Trace legislation. Do you have a question about Track and Trace? We're here to help. Visit www.jtiadvance.co.uk forward slash Track and Trace or speak to your JTI sales representative.